guys welcome in kali linux unleashed if you just installed kali linux and want to explore hacking and cyber security you are in the right place in this video we have an exciting lineup for you we are going to unveil the top 20 thing you should do right after installing the kali linux to make the most of this operating system what's even better we have got timestamp for each step so you have the flexibility to jump to any part that interests you or revisit any section whenever you like this step will not only set up for you for a smoother and productive experience but also ensure you are on the right track to master the art of ethical hacking and cyber security okay don't waste more time so buckle up and let's dive right into the video let's address a common issue device not manage before we dive into any other section let address a common issue that user might face with their network interfaces on kali linux if you are using wired connection and facing device not manage error then follow this step to resolve it open a terminal in kali linux and edit the network manager configuration file by running this command and here search for manage and here modify manage to true and press ctrl s and ctrl x to leave the file changes are done let's check changes are modified or not so let me run this command and here we have now you need to restart your network manager service so run this command as it is and now that you have resolved the device not manage issue for your wired connection so let's move on to the next step first let's update our system and ensure it is running the latest packages so update kali linux first so open up the terminal and type this command sudo apt update this command refreshes a list of available packages from the software repositories and it's like checking for updates in the app store and here now type sudo apt upgrade this command actually installed the latest versions of the packages you have installed on your system running this command keep your system updated with the latest security fixes and make it more stable and secure now wait for it to finish and then we will move to the next step Configuring repository mirrors. When we were upgrading our system using sudo apt upgrade, you might notice that our system was fetching uh, packages from Kali rolling repositories. But here is the thing: configuring repository mirror is essential for faster download. Let's take a closer look and run this command. It will return the current repo. For now, as you can see, it's uh, Kali rolling. Uh, but to make things easier, you can change your branch. For instance, if you prefer a more stable Kali version with fewer updates, then you can use Kali latest snapshot. You can switch this using this command. Just run sudo apt update command after changing the repo to update the system repositories. And, and guys, Kali rolling uh, is the default and frequently updated, and Kali last, last snapshot is more stable uh, with fewer updates, but great for those who prefer stability. Update may take time. Uh, guys, to switch back, just replace the past repo in the above command and hit enter and you will uh, able to switch back to the uh, default repo changing the default password for your own security it is crucial to change the default password let's do it now open terminal and type P -A -S -S -W -D, and it will ask to enter your current password now uh, I'm gonna uh, enter wrong password for now and it will return error so yes uh, now run the command again and guys you will prompt to enter your current password and then new password uh, and guys make sure the pa your password is strong and unique once the password is changed you will be able to add extra layer of security to your Kali Linux system install git it is a crucial tool for one's version controlling, collaboration and software development. It allows you to track changes in your code, work with others and manage project efficiently. To install it, just hit this command and it will install git in your into your system. Even hacker need to uh, version control their code. Git allows you to track changes, collaboration and maintain integrity of your code. It's a fundamental tool for any developer or hacker. Install Terminator. Uh, get this uh, for advanced terminal features. Terminator is a powerful Linux terminal emulator that greatly enhances your hacking capabilities. To install it, just uh, hit this command and press enter. It will install Terminator into your system. Once it will install, uh, you can use uh, uh, Terminator to split the terminal using keyboard shortcut, such as Ctrl Shift O for horizontal spl split and Ctrl Shift E for vertical split. Additionally, you can clear the active terminal using Ctrl Shift X. 
Terminator offer various shortcuts to navigate and customize your terminal windows as needed, making it a valuable tool in your hacking journey. Time to add an extra layer of security. Using the root account for every data can be risky. We are going to create a non-root user. So just in terminal type sudo add user and, and enter your username you want to create. Just replace the uh, user with your desired username and you will be prompted to create a password for the new user. And follow the step to confirm the user details and now your account will be ready in just few seconds. Enable and configure firewall. Firewall are virtual guard protecting your system. Let's set up firewall with UFW. First, we need to install UFW. So run this command and hit enter. It will install UFW in our system. And now we will run sudo UFW enable. This command activate the firewall. Now you can set the rules to control incoming and outgoing traffic. Let's run this command again. Here we go. Now uh, we will allow OpenSSH connection type. So in shell type sudo uw allow OpenSSH and it will uh, allow the connection for the SSH types. Install Tor for anonymity. Privacy matters, especially for hacker. Tor uh, is your gateway to anonymity on the internet. Uh, for now Tor is not installed yet on my system. Uh, and we are gonna install Tor into this. So to run this, uh, to get Tor, just run this command into your terminal and it will install Tor into your system. So wait for it. So yes, Tor is now installed into our system. So let's open it and guys, it, it may take time. Uh, it will download some file for it. And then we will able to use Tor into our system. Guys, Tor uh, route your internet traffic through a network of volunteer operating servers, making it extremely difficult for anyone to trace your online activities back to you. It is a must for anon anonymous browsing. And, and now we are able to use Tor. Here are the settings for Tor. You can close this and just click on connect and it will connect you to the Tor browser. Install a password manager. Keeping track of your password is crucial for security. A password manager helps you to store and manage your login uh, credential securely for now uh, we don't have any password uh, manager and we are going to install uh, uh, install a key pass xe so run this command and hit enter and it will install key pass xe into your system so wait for it uh, once the installation is complete you can launch key pass xe uh, from the application menu And here we have uh, set up your password database and start adding your login credential. KeepXE can generate a strong and unique password for your accounts uh, and making your uh, online activity more secure. Remember to choose a strong master password for your password manager as this is the key to accessing all your stored password. Uh, password manager is a must for any hacker or cyber security enthusiast. It is stored uh, it's ensure having a strong and unique password for every account. Install popular hacking tool. Let's equip your Kali uh, Linux with some essential hacking tool to get you started. We will install popular tool for various hacking tasks. Uh, some tools are not equipped with Kali package that's why we need to install them. So open your terminal and you need to run this command. And guys it will install some tools. These are the tools of the trade for ethical hacker. Metasploit, Bugsuit, Fireshark, Aircrack and G. These will provide you and wide range of capabilities for penetration testing and many much more. These tools are essential for identifying vulnerabilities and securing a system. And make sure to remember uh, to use these tools responsibly and legally. Install your favorite code editor. Every hacker or coder needs a reliable code editor. Uh, for now, I don't have any uh, co editor 
installed in my system yet except when uh, to install favorite code editor like visual studio code on your system just run this command into your system and it will install vs code uh, and you you will be able to access vs code from the terminal or from the application menu as you can see uh, vs code is now installed on my system and you can use them and uh, start your coding journey and hacking journey enable sound on board for this we are using uh, elsa elsa stands for advanced linux sound architecture uh, to install it just open a terminal and run this command uh, uh, it will install elsa into our system uh, it is essential for managing sound onto your system by the following step you will be ensure that elsa utilities are installed which will be help to ensure that sound is enabled on boot in kali linux Let's enable auto login feature in our Kali Linux. So uh, we need to uh, run this command and open the lightdm configuration file in our nano text editor. But guys, uh, you know we need to run this at sudo. And here we need to search for auto login user and auto login user timeout. And uh, uncomment uh, both the line. And uh, in place of user, you need to enter your username. Enabling auto login is helpful for convenience and streamlining the login process, particularly if you are the sole user of the system. And here we have. Uh, save the changes and let's check changes are done or not so changes are not done uh, now it's time to open pam file uh, pam stands for pluggable authentication module uh, we need to open this file and guys we need to comment this line so add hash into this and leave the file by Control X and Control S. Now, once it's done, uh, you need to reboot your system. I'm not gonna reboot my system yet, uh, but you will be uh, a notice that auto login feature will be enabled in your system. Supercharge Kali with GDB Package Manager. It's time to equip your Kali Linux with GDB your swiss army knife for handling debian packages in your terminal enter this command and it will install gdb in your system uh, it simplifies the installation process of debian packages for on your kali linux system whether you are adding tools or application gdb streamlines uh, the processes now you are ready to empower your kali linux with wide range of software let's install uh, google chrome with gdb package manager Enhance your arsenal with file roller, archive manager. To tackle the world of archives and process compressed file, it's time to bring in file roller, your trusted archive manager. Uh, as you can see, I'm facing error uh, in compressing and extracting file. So let's fix this. Open up terminal and run this command and it will install uh, archive manager into your system. It simplifies the management of compressed files and archives, making it a breeze to extract, create and modify them. Whether you are dealing with zip, rar, tar, file roller has you covered now uh, let's check i'm able to extract any file or not so yes as you can see i'm able to extract uh, any file uh, in just one click for real time mon system monitoring and management you will want to install stop into your system a powerful task manager for Kali linux so just run this command and hit enter it will install stop into your system stop provide an interactive and detailed overview overview of your system resource usage including cpu memory and processes it's a valuable tool for your system administrator and power users uh, and strain control uh, system performance with this handy task manager Manage software packages with Synaptic Package Manager. 
To gain more advanced control over your software packages, consider installing the Synaptic Package Manager. Uh, that command will install Synaptic into your system. Uh, this package manager offers a user-friendly graphic interface to search, install, and manage software uh, packages. It is particularly helpful for fine-tuning your software selection and resolving dependencies. Uh, once it's done, uh, you will be able to access from the application menu. It provides a robust platform for managing software and packages on your Kali Linux system. Let's make Kali Linux truly your own by customizing your system. Personalization adds a touch of style and convenience to your experience. Reverse scrolling and enable tap to click on touchpad. If you are using laptop, you might want to reverse scrolling direction and enable tap to click. To do this, go to settings and navigate to touchpad. Here uh, you can adjust scrolling and tapping prefer preferences as per your like. And guys, uh, Kali Linux come with cool wallpapers. You can change your desktop wallpaper from the available options. And as you can see, there are some good options to change customize the system. Kali Linux Undercover Mode Undercover Mode is a fascinating feature in Kali Linux that lets your Kali desktop environment to look like Windows. It's not only fun but also useful if you are using in situation where you would rather not to reveal your hacking environment. Embrace your Kali Linux uh, Kali Undercover Mode and have fun with your new cognitive look. You have just unlocked the potential of Kali Linux and equip yourself with an exciting journey in ethical hacking and cyber security. Remember to use this tool responsibly. Stay curious and keep learning. Your path to mastery just has just begun. Join the cyber security community, seek knowledge and stay secure. Happy hacking. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up.